Hey everybody and welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about Google Ads advertiser account verification. So if you're seeing an email or message like this in your Google Ads to start your advertiser account verification, this is something you'll need to do to keep advertising. So in the Google Ads when it's live, it shows about the advertiser, who you are, uh, make sure you're legit. Google's cracking down on this, not sure why, but today we're gonna to talk about how to go through this advertiser verification situation. Uh, and my name is Mac Frederick, founder and CEO of Momentum Digital. Uh, we're located in Philly. I used to work for Google in the ads department, and now I provide videos like this talking about digital marketing, SEO, Google ads, etc. Uh, so if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe, turn that bell on for post notifications, leave a like, comment, or question, and let's get into the video. So today we're gonna to talk about advertiser verification. This is my friend's account right here. Um, whenever you go to settings, uh, you can go to billing and settings. Um, we are a MCC, My Client Center account with Google Ads, basically an umbrella account for agencies and marketers with multiple accounts that they manage. And we have a billing profile. So we're the one paying for the ads a lot of times to get paid back buy clients at the end of every month. And so pretty much nine times out of 10 for these, we need to get advertiser account verification. And so we're going to click into settings and then go to adver advertiser verification. Um, we'll go here. <clears throat> so is your organization an advertising agency? So if you're the client, hit no. If you're the agency or marketer, hit yes. Who do you wanna to verify today? Um, so this video is a little bit better suited for the marketers and advertisers. Um, not so much the clients and business owners. So who do you want to verify today? We're going to verify the client for their account right here. And each ad account is paid for by a payments profile. And so ours kind of gets flagged a lot because we're paying for the ads for actual businesses and not our own business. As a reminder, the payments profile you use whenever you set up your billing, you can choose a payment profile or create a new payment profile. That's ours. Yes, we pay for this account by clicking save and continue. You're agreeing that Google We'll make information about the advertiser you're verifying and ad campaigns, yada, yada, yada. Uh, so we want to verify the client. Unseen Beauty, save and continue. Next, it'll take us back to that screen you're just looking at. Our agency is verified, so we need to verify the client. Um, so we will click into a new tab here. Oops, get started. And it should pop up the advertiser verification form, ads policy, troubleshoot, yada, yada, yada. Google provides versions of the help center. So there's a policy document link here. Check this out about the verification. Uh, they wanna make it trustworthy, reliable, accurate, yada, yada, yada. I think Google also wants to collect more data about its advertisers, of course. Talk about what type of ads you can run, what ads you can't run. For completing this form, ensure your company or agency owns the payments profile. We do. Uh, and that the account type is set to organization. It is in the billing setup, yes. So let's walk through this form now. Is your or your client's account a Google Grants account? No, Google Grants is like nonprofits. Do you or your client intend to run election ads? No. If you are yes to any of these, hit yes, you have different questions then. Are you an agency or third party paying for your client's ads? Yes, we are. Does your company or agency own the payments profile? Yes, we do. Has your account type been set to organization? Yes. Great, Google Ads customer ID. Pull that right here. I think they want the clients. By completing this form, you represent that. Your client is confirmed to the information below is accurate. You see permission from your client to display the advertised legal name. Yes, you can only apply for verification for the account listed in the notification email. So we can only apply for verification for this account. Da, da, da. Please do not enter the customer ID for your Google Ads Manager account. Please enter the 10-digit customer ID for the individual account, like the one I just copied, your email address. Uh, please select the location, so choose your country. Yada, yada, yada. <clears throat> okay, keep going. Is your client an organization or individual? Individual, client's first name. We're gonna hit submit. 
So add the address if it's a location or an office or something. So now we've submitted everything. Your email has been sent. Thank you for applying. Advertiser ID for verification. Review address. Respond within five business days. If you're a business, though, <clears throat> make sure. Um, we can't see it now. But if you're a business, make sure that you're choosing uh, it's a business instead of an individual and then put the business information. You'll probably need to upload some sort of business document, so it makes it a little bit harder. So Google's going to review this five business days. Please note, uh, you may be required to complete a second step to complete verification. But this will suffice for now. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Please drop a like. If you found this video helpful, let me know. Share it with friends. If you need help with your Google Ads or verification or anything with Google Ads, uh, contact details below in the video. And do subscribe. I have a lot of good content talking about Google Ads, SEO, etc. And we will see you next time. Peace. Thanks for watching.